What is up guys? My name's The Simian. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? All right guys, usually my Sim Info videos are really not that long, but today there is just a lot that needs to be covered. I mean, down to like The Sims 4 console controversy, to PC controversy, to just the whole gameplay trailer in general. There is a lot that needs to be talked about, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so ever since The Sims 4 actually announced that they were having the new Growing Together expansion pack, they dropped the gameplay trailer and guys, it just basically backfired when the gameplay trailer came out because the gameplay trailer basically just didn't have any gameplay. If you are new to my channel, I have actually been covering all the recent news that's been going on with the Growing Together expansion pack, so feel free to go ahead and binge some of my other videos as well. Now I want to get into this first topic and basically SimGuru Morgan actually tweeted out, I heard we were sharing cool pictures of San Sequoia, some cool shots of the fog coming in and the bay in the evening, Hopewell Hills, Gilbert Gardens, and the Anchor Point Wharf. She does continue on to say we try to portray different densities with our worlds based on how populated they are in our minds at times we've conceptualized less dense to because we want it to be clear where playable lots are when you're hovering around to travel now you're probably like, what is the big deal? I don't get it. Okay, I'm getting into that, but I have to break it down just a little bit for those who are new to the channel. So, someone by the name of It's OB Jim said, the gameplay trailer made me very worried this world is tiny and these picks kind of seal the deal on these. Now, SimGuru Morgan was very quick to respond saying, 12 playable lots. Each neighborhood has four lots. We always determine how many is best for each pack for performance. People with mini spec PCs need to play too and will weigh against gameplay needs. It's always a series of thoughtful and careful considered conversations. Now, this is what sparked everything, okay? After this tweet, the whole Sims community, at least if you're on the Twitter side, went in a frenzy, and I'm gonna get into those a little bit later, but I do wanna break down just a few more things. Now, some of the name of Waffle underscore 64, basically was trying to do what the rest of the sims 4 community was trying to do and basically breaking down what we were actually getting within the game as you guys can see there wasn't much shown is the references that were given to us from other sim gurus who are dropping hints on their twitter and not from the actual trailer itself sim guru morgan actually replied saying on track for a handful of those off track on a few others hint the subway cover is in the wharf neighborhood with the colorful buildings and some by the name of fable simmer said my only question for the sim gurus are these pick both in san sequoia now if you guys remember Remember these pictures they were actually from the live summit which was which was very debatable on how enjoyable that was but she does go on to say that yeah those are very early concept pictures for San Sequoia it was fun watching everyone speculate about them when the teaser came out now, if you go back and forth between these two pictures, I do find them very interesting because again, these are the only glimpses that we are actually getting of the world. We didn't really get to see them in the first trailer and let alone the gameplay trailer as well. Let me know down below in the comments your opinions on this so far. Now, another Twitter user by the name of underscore Maleficent said the caption says worlds. I'm actually glad there are from the same world and I already thought it was the same world. The setting for both of them was pretty similar because this way we can still hope for a totally different looking one. Now, as you guys can see in the pictures, they, these these two basically resemble what we are getting now in the expansion pack and because it says new worlds would this would do you guys expect that we're getting another expansion pack or do you guys think this is going to be it now a lot of people had very much controversy when it came down to what the world actually looked like saying that it looked very much like Willow Creek and Brindleton Bay had a baby now, I can definitely see why some people say that it does look like Willow Creek and that it does look very foresty and empty compared to an actual city in which The Sims 4 said that they were basing the world off of. Now, with the release of the gameplay trailer, a lot of people had a lot of things to say, including a lot of simmers, and that left some simmers a little bit irritated, including at Little Mommy said, it does seem like Sims 4 YouTubers and tweeters have become rather jaded, and it gets old to listen to repeatedly. Not saying that's you, just that's contributing, I think, to the overall negative feeling in the community right now. Iron Siegel, who's a YouTuber as well, um, goes on to say, and the reason for that jadedness is on EA and Max's. I think we all want a better game, but apparently it's our fault for giving feedback when they fall short. If the game was better, there'd be less negativity. And I completely agree. It, again, it's one of those things where you have to scratch off feelings and focus on facts. And some people just don't understand how to separate the differences because guys, feelings is getting into, in the way, okay? Let's just state the facts about what's going on in The Sims 4. Now with SimGuru Morgan starting an uproar in the 
Twitter community for The Sims 4. A lot of people had things to say and was actually responding back to that tweet. And someone by the name of at sale said, I'm curious why newer worlds are needed to have such a low number of lots when early worlds like Windenburg were able to have like 18 lots or something like that. Wouldn't mum spec be higher now than it was back then? Genuinely confused and saddened by this. Thank you for sharing the information about this, by the way. I don't mean this for this to come off across or complaining. So, Sim Girl Morgan was actually being very responsive to a lot of simmers and responded back saying, in earlier packs, we were still learning. A lot of consideration and planning goes into only how we can make each pack performance, but also how we can keep the game performant for years to come. We know players love New World, so we're going to make them for a long time. Now, when she tweeted this back, again, this started nothing but even more backlash. Not really backlash, but more so more uproar. And what exactly are they focusing on? What are the Sim Gurus doing? Are they being transparent enough to where we know exactly what's going on within The Sims 4? Someone by the name of Jose F, but with an F, says, why are we still pretending that it's fine to run games on computers from 2001? And it's an expansion pack. A base game is one thing, but like the 15th expansion pack shouldn't have to be accounting for that. I'm sorry. Someone else by the name of Nucleus Simmer said, See, I don't mind the amount of lots in the new Sims pack personally. I just wish Worlds constantly had more life, lore, and environmental storytelling. Like, this just looks so empty and bland to me. I don't know, especially for being the leading life simulator and releasing in 2003 and I completely understand where the simmer is actually coming from because from what I'm seeing here it does look a little bit bland again I'm just gonna wait until I see the live stream to really have my 100% input on it now someone else by the name of the spooky simmer said 12 lots just get used up so fast one four family five six single sims or extended family seven libraries eight gyms nine bar nightlife 10 rec center 11 restaurant and 12 park and then that's it and that's without knowing where the lots are to know what can we even make Make sense where I'll give them I guess that's the basics but geez I want to be able to have intricate communities with multiple families and their extended family a variety of community lots even just upping the standard to 15 would make such a difference and let me know your opinions down below on that someone else by the name of um, Dejo said 12 lots with only four to neighborhoods is not enough especially in a family focused pack it's almost impossible to build real neighborhoods with so few lots at least Willow Creek allowed us to have the possibility but the new world just feels empty shallow and restrictive I was looking forward to this pack but it's getting really annoying how you keep trying our hands with such tiny worlds and lots who are also managing to make those lots feel far away and isolated from each other add in the fact that we can't even double up on lot type i do want to quickly give my thoughts and opinions on this topic really quick and i do feel like because the sims team is allowing everything to just wait until the live stream they're building so much anticipation for there to be a possibility of nothing and i feel like they're doing that to themselves i feel like if they would have just originally put everything into the gameplay trailer like they normally would have done, then we wouldn't have been asking all these questions because we feel like there's nothing to get from it. Now, obviously in the past, we've had gameplay trailers where they added at least a little bit more detail into the world and then also save the live stream for being able to express how you do those gameplay you know, ideas and etc. But I don't know, you guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this so far. Now I do want to get into this next tweet and it's basically surrounding a lot of the backlash that the Sim Gurus have been getting ever since the gameplay trailer had been released. And this is by the Sims Representation Project saying this is generalized of what I've seen over the years in the community and not directed at anyone specifically. If you ever worked with the general public, you know just how taxing it could be, their opinions, thoughts while keeping in mind that the person on the other end is just a person. So no matter what company the employee works for, we need to normalize employees protecting their space and mental health, even if that means blocking, muting, forwarding calls to manage. Um, escalations no job is worth the expense of your mental health and I think this goes on to because a lot of the sim groups have been they've been getting very aggressive tweets and I will admit that I do personally 100% do not support bullying I do not think that we need to be bullying the sims team I do feel like also um in my opinion, I do feel like there's a difference between facts and feelings. And like I said earlier, I do think that people, you know, get those things a lot mixed up. And I think people need to get feelings out the way. And if we focus on the facts, this is just what it is. They're not transparent. They tiptoe around every single problem that involves The Sims 4. They're very much gaslighting every single one of us all the time. And the gameplay trailer didn't have gameplay. It is what it is. That's facts. That's not just, you know, we're not making things up here. 
Like, it, it just is what it is. But again, I'm going to get into my thoughts and opinions later on. But someone else by the name of Low Poly Pancake said, Base Game World versus EP Worlds are a night and day difference. And as you guys can see, this is one of the Base Game Worlds. And I believe this is Willow Creek. And then if you look at Sulani, now this is obviously very much zoomed out. And someone by the name of Adro Sim said, The comparison is quite unfair. This Base Game map is small with only two lots that are pretty close to each other. The Sulani one is big with six lots and so on both areas. I get your point, but it wouldn't be more fair to compare two maps with the same number of lots so then here is a picture of what um they posted as well so as you guys can see there's just a little bit more detail again i'm very curious to hear your opinions on this and guys there is just so much more that i still have to cover someone else by the name of loli pancake actually responded back and said here's a different comparison then it's the same base game world on the left but the high school years neighborhood with the school and the auditorium on the right both worlds have lots so as you guys can see what do you guys think about this compared to your comparison how do you guys feel about these maps and what is going on and how do you expect the growing together map is going to look i'm very curious to hear your responses as well now someone else took this twitter by the name of brickline 26 said meanwhile the sims 1 old town has 41 lots with multiple neighborhoods with uh, with other 41 lots in it there was a game that came out in 2000 it seems computers have regressed over time sim guru morgan also remember she tweeted we also determined how many is best for each pack for performance people with mini spec pcs need to play too now this is also going to be involved in the controversy that i'm just going to get into a lot later but as as you guys can see this is the tweet that he made and actually posted and you can see all the 41 lots now i never personally played um the sims one so if you did please comment down below your opinions on this and even if you didn't let me know what you guys are thinking someone else by the name of jack of all game seven said the issue with the comparison is that the sims one and two had individual saves per lot which is why you can't save on community lot sim 4 with all dlc has close to 400 plus lots per save file the sims 4 works differently to allow travel between worlds and someone else by the name of brookline 26 said and yet the solution to this is to add even more worlds in the future so our save files will continue to increase in size so they have to stumble upon themselves on how to optimize it so guys it just keeps going and with the response of sim guru morgan actually responding back saying about the pc and specs are in mind this led a lot of people to believe that console and low pc specs were to blame for the reason that we were getting a lot of low lots now i'm going to read some tweets for you guys and we're going to get into my thoughts and opinions in a second someone by the name of the yorkie sherry joe said pc player simulation lag crashes losing saves losing all the dlcs from switching launchers getting malware from downloading shaders having mods break with every patch console players enjoying the game pc players wow this game should never have been made for console someone else by the name of crazy gamer fox said the biggest issue console players have now is that they change the build stuff now again i'm gonna get into my opinions later but you guys are always welcome to comment down below your opinions and then the yorkshire joe says the hilarious thing is the reason they are limited with what they can add to the game is because of how it was originally made back in 2014 and you blame consoles even though the game wasn't even made with console players in mind wasn't it meant to be an online player multiplayer game at first i think someone did a whole video on it and that some code of it still exists now i did do my homework on this and the sims actually released september 2nd 2014 and for xbox and console in november 2017 that is i believe uh, three or four years later and someone by the name of booba panda said people out here really shaming folks who don't have a gaming pc people really out here shaming folks who do have a gaming pc i'm sorry but if you can buy dlc you can know patrick dlc costs up to 40 dollars for maybe two months for me not effing 200 someone else by the name of the yorkie gerald joe's responded saying the argument about upping the specs just doesn't work on an already established game for the sims 5 sure but there's no way a game company can say hey i know you've already spent 1000 on dlc for this but now you can't play it anymore lol bye let me know down below in the comments your opinions on this because guys it just got more and more interesting as i kept scrolling and looking through the tweets there is one more tweet i want to get into before i go into my thoughts and opinions on this as well and it's by the name of sharona sim saying as a community i think we should all grow together get along and stop fighting each other pc laptops consoles who cares in the end we're all just in here to enjoy the sims right stop bringing each other down and passing blame for things that are out of our control and guys i completely agree i have no idea where this whole thing came from between console and pc like this should not have been a thing guys at the end of the day we're all simmers we are all trying to truly enjoy the game and there are faults on both ends there are things wrong with pc as well as console 
Do I feel like personally console gets left out in the dust a little bit more? Absolutely. And you can't sit here and tell me that they don't. The console always gets the end of the stick. I mean, think about it. We, like, even if you take mods and CC, which is already a privilege within itself, and I also want to say that not everybody has a PC also has mods and CC as well, but I do want to say that nine times out of ten, People who have PC are using mods and they're using it to fix their game. What does console have? They have the Sims Direct or the Sims Team to, you know, obviously take care of that. And we all know they're not the best and, you know, very, very on it when it comes down to that. I'm, the reason I'm being so advocate for console is because, is because one, yes, I am, uh, you know, previous console player. So I do have a little bit more empathy. And on top of that, it's just, we're all simmers. That's, I think that's messed up if they just are like literally an afterthought after everything. I mean, it wasn't even until recently where they decided to actually release everything all together and not just do PC first. And then console was left like, oh, a couple of weeks later that they actually got different game packs or expansion packs, stuff packs, etc. So I don't know. Y'all let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and opinions on this. Again, I don't even know why this was as controversial as it was because at the end of the day we are all simmers we are all on the same team and we all need to speak up about every single issue all together i don't know why it's so divided and i don't know why there's this hierarchy between pc and console players because like i said at the end of the day we all simmers but i do also want to get into the fact that the reason this was even brought up was because console was actually having issues in the first place when it came down to the new update that they had right after the live stream and will i say that the sims direct actually completely ruined console and they I, they said that they identified the issue with, and what was causing that. The game is breaking for some players as well as they completely changed the controls without the consoles basically knowledge and they're, they try to make it a little bit more PC and this is why again that they need a lot of people to speak up because there's not a lot of console players. There's just not. There's more PC players than console players but I feel like it's important for all of us together as a community to stand up and be like hey this isn't right you need to fix this. I did go on to the actual EA site and says what you need to know about the sims 4 on console and there is an actual difference on the sims 4 on pc and on console so sim, cons sim 4 on console you have to start from scratch it's separate it's a separate version of the game and i didn't actually know this i actually learned a lot about this as i was reading this but they said not exactly the console version of the sims 4 doesn't have all the features as the pc or mac version because they would work differently we haven't been able to include these features on playstation and xbox and then they go on to believe you know mod ability to tag memories ability to reminisce about a memory and you know they do go on to say what are the difference between console editions and can i upgrade to the deluxe edition what packs can i buy and they go on to so much more and i will actually link this down below if you guys are curious about looking at this and what exactly the difference is between each and every single spec that involves the sims 4 comparing to pc now sim guru morgan has been quiet ever since the last couple of tweets that she's made and because the sims community is definitely in an uproar and tweeting sim gurus like non-stop none of the sim gurus have actually been responding back since that tweet tweet and also I did go into news and updates and there's nothing really much on anything besides the new gameplay obviously well quote-unquote gameplay trailer but anyway guys with all this being said I mean down to the maps down to the console and PC down to how do you feel about the 12 lots I am curious about it all guys there's just so much that has been going on within the Sims 4 community there's been news after news after news and I'm glad I'm able to reach this and get this out to you guys but I also am very curious to hear your opinions of course I I will be responding back to you guys in the comment section and again i do want to mention that i am doing an expansion pack giveaway where i'll be giving away two expansion packs for the growing together i'll be releasing them on march 13th and both platforms so all you have to do is of course be subscribed to my youtube channel as well as be following my twitter anyway guys we're on the road to 20k and i want to give back to you guys because if you guys have poured so much into me i want to pour back into you guys and into the community that we have built here on my channel and i love the fact that regardless of whether we agree or disagree i love the fact that we can have a conversation and keep it respectful and be able to discuss among ourselves that's what my community is all about and i'm so grateful and glad that you guys are joining in on it anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!